morning children today we are going to start another new chapter and its name is how many squares now you must be wondering what are we going to study in this chapter so this is going to be a very interesting chapter with lots of activities in this chapter we are going to study about area as well as perimeter first of all i would like to tell you what is area okay now children i have these two glaze papers a bigger one which is green in color and a smaller one which is red in color both are in the form of a rectangle now when i have kept the red glaze paper on the green glaze paper some portion of the green glaze paper has got hidden because of the red glaze paper now this portion which has got hidden this portion full portion is called the area of this red rectangle so the space covered by any flat object the space covered by any flat object is called the area of that object so this whole portion is the area of red rectangle now you must be wondering what is perimeter now children perimeter is very simple it is the length of the boundary of any closed figure for example this red rectangle now if you will measure the length of this side this side this side and this side if you measure the length of all the four sides of the rectangle and add it up you will get a value and that would be the perimeter of this red rectangle so children with the help of some rectangles and squares which i have cut with different colored glaze papers and a new paper which is called the graph paper i am going to teach you the area as well as the perimeter of the rectangles and the squares so come let us start doing our activity this is a graph paper you can see if you see very carefully there are very tiny boxes made with thin lines and there are some big boxes now children these big boxes which you can see are squares each one of them have got side 1 cm so all their sides are 1 cm 1 cm 1 cm now look at this pink square this pink square is occupying some space and it is hiding some space on this graph paper the amount of space which this pink square is hiding that amount of space is called 1 square cm and that is the area of this pink square okay let me remove this from its place and show it to you this pink square was covering this portion of the graph paper and each side of this square is 1 cm and so the portion of the graph paper which was covered by this pink square which is called the area of the square that area is 1 square cm now let us talk about the perimeter perimeter is the boundary of this square so 
all the sides are 1 cm so the length of the boundary is 1 plus 1 plus 1 plus 1 equal to 4 cm so the perimeter of this pink square is 4 cm now children look at these pink rectangles first of all i will talk about these three pink rectangles and why i am talking about these three pink rectangles because the area of these three pink rectangles is the same i will show it to you by removing these rectangles and counting the number of squares which they are covering okay now let us remove this rectangle and count the number of squares 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 10 11 12 okay it was covering 12 squares on this graph paper so the area of this long pink rect pink rectangle is 12 square centimeter okay you must be wondering how the area of this and this can be same okay i am going to show it to you now this is the area which is covered by this pink rectangle let us count the number of squares 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 10 11 12 eleven, this was also covering 12 squares so the area of this pink rectangle is also 12 square cm now let us look at this pink rectangle okay it was covering this much area let us count the squares 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 10 11 12 12 so this pink rectangle was also covering 12 squares on the graph paper so the area of this pink rectangle is also 12 square cm now see children these three pink rectangles they look different but the area of these three is the same okay now i am going to find out the perimeter perimeter is the length of the boundary so you can see i have drawn the boundary of all the rectangles with the help of a blue pen okay i am going to find out the perimeter of this rectangle let me start counting from here This is one centimeter, two centimeter, three centimeter, four centimeter, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty, twenty-one, twenty-two, twenty-three, twenty-four, twenty-five, twenty-six. So the perimeter of this rectangle is twenty-six centimeter. Okay, let us count the per. Find out the perimeter of this rectangle. Okay, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen. So the perimeter of this rectangle is fourteen centimeter. Now let us find out the perimeter of this rectangle. I'll start counting from here. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen. So the perimeter of this rectangle is sixteen centimeter. Okay, children. Now in your book, they have shown many stamps, and they have told you to find out the perimeter as well as the area of those stamps. since i was not able to find the postage stamps so i have cut these uh glaze papers so now i am going to show you the area as well as the perimeter of these glaze papers okay now look at this green square and this green square is covering some space on the graph paper okay that space which we are not able to see of the graph paper is the area of this green square okay let us find out the area of the square 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 10 11 12 13 14 15 16 17 18 19 20 21 22 23 24 25 okay so this green square was hiding these 25 squares each of whom have 
got area one square centimeter. So the area of the green square is twenty five square centimeter. Now let us find the perimeter. Okay, I'll start counting from here: one, two, three, four, five. Six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty. So twenty centimeter is the length of the boundary of this green square. So twenty centimeter is the perimeter of the green square. Okay, children. Now let us come to this red rectangle. Uh, this is also hiding some squares on the graph paper. Let us count these small squares to find out the area of this rectangle. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen. So it was hiding eighteen small squares. So the area of this rectangle is eighteen square centimeter. Now quickly find out the perimeter. Perimeter is the boundary of this rectangle. Okay, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen. Now eighteen centimeter is the perimeter of this rectangle. Now children, the way I have made uh, these rectangles and squares, you can also do it. and with the help of a graph paper you can find the area as well as the perimeter i hope children you would have understood the difference between area and perimeter and how to find area and perimeter remember area is the surface covered by a flat object and perimeter is the length of the boundary of a closed figure That's all for today children thank you and have a nice day